Let's go back to where you started as a writer, or a little bit further back. What kind of student were you when you were studying law? Law? By the, well, by the time I got to law school, I was motivated. Uh, the first four years were another story. Um, <laughs> I was not that motivated. I grew up in a very strict uh, Southern Baptist household in the Deep South. Uh, it was a great childhood, great parents, and we were in church, you know, every week, and everything, if you're a Baptist, everything is sinful. Mm. Everything's against the law, okay? <laughs> especially drinking, especially beer, especially, you know, uh, everything, fun, is against the law. Were you a sinner? Well, occasionally. Um, <laughs> I couldn't wait to get to college. To get, a, to get away from home, mm -hmm. to get away from my parents' rules, and to really uh, have a lot of fun. So you are set free. You are I going was, to I college. I was set free. I was liberated. Could from... you describe what, what happened? Paint the picture here. What, well, what I did mean, John I, Grisham do? No girl was safe. No, no, uh, <laughs> there was a lot of beer, a lot of parties, a lot of, yeah. But I mean, I was like any other kid. Uh, we were having a lot of fun uh, being away from home in college. And so the first college asked me to leave. After one year. Um, what did you do? Well, I didn't do much of anything except uh, chase girls and drink <laughs> beer. And uh, I was trying to play baseball, and that didn't work out. And so I went to another college I didn't like. And so the third college I went to, I finally liked that. And they, they kept me there for a while. And, it, you know, I was 20 years old. Boys are slow. Boys are kind of um, they're not as smart as girls at that age. I was 20 years old before the light bulb went off, you know, in my head. And I said, I can't keep doing this for the rest of my life. I've got to, I've got to get serious about studying. I'd already blown two years, mm -hmm. uh, which was hard to make up, uh, but I did. And I decided to go to law school and become a lawyer and because I thought that was going to be a way to, uh, you know, have a better career, make more money, whatever the, the American dream of, you know, of, of stepping up uh, from one generation to the next and maybe having a better life than my parents had given me. So it wasn't a passion for law, it was making money, have a career, future? It, it was making money, making yeah. Money. Well, or so I thought. I almost starved to death as a lawyer. <laughs> Were you a bad lawyer? I was a really good lawyer, but I could not say no to people. Right off the bat, I realized, I went back to my hometown uh, where I'd grown up and I knew everybody in town and I got elected to the state legislature uh, in an election And so everybody voted for me, or they said they did. And then um, I couldn't, so people came to me with all their problems. And, I, and I, I realized right off the bat, I could not say no to people who needed help, whether it was a, a family situation or uh, somebody had died or somebody was injured or whatever. I couldn't say no. So you had a lot of clients who didn't have money to pay. I had a lot of clients who couldn't pay. Yeah. And as a lawyer, you learn quickly You better say no to most of the stuff or you're going to starve to death. Right. But I couldn't do that. And so I had a lot of, it was a very busy office with not much money. 